Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. This could be a management and a leadership question. Um, but the fundamentals are the same because you're talking about how do you effectively interact with a team or a group of people so that you can mobilize them in a successful way. There are a number of components to this challenge. It's a fascinating thing. And if you get them right, then it becomes a wonderful experience. Let's go through them. First and foremost, you respect your people. It is very hard to mobilize people who don't feel respected. So you respect your people. You preserve and take care of their dignity. You can mobilize them by fear if you want to. Right? or if that is, you know, in some situations. But is this ideal? It's not ideal. The best scenario is to respect your people. And how do you do that? You act in a respectful way so that they feel respected. They have to feel respected. So that's number one. Take it further. Trust your people. Now, having said that, you have to be also realistic because trust is earned. And trusting somebody who have, you know, who joined you for a week is different than trusting somebody who's joined you for the past, you know, who's been with you for the past 10 years. Because there has been enough time where competence and loyalty and values have proven themselves repeatedly. But in general, when your people are competent and loyal and you're sure of their values that they have proven over time, then trust is the right thing to do and when people feel that they are trusted and they're valued they feel more motivated to do whatever the task is reward your people for success because success can never be achieved especially in the context of a group by a person by himself so when you succeed as part of the group your entire team is helping you succeed. In fact, the whole team is succeeding together because you can't do it alone. Now, when you succeed, what do you do? You share the benefits and the glory and the joy of this success with your people. So people, your people have to feel that they're, 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 they're enjoying the, the, the benefit, the part, you know, part of the success, the reward of the success has, have become, has become a personal experience to them. So definitely share your reward. What else? Give people space to grow. You have to understand human nature. And human nature by default wants to expand and grow. So you motivate people by allowing them to have in the necessary space for them to grow. To become better people. To fulfill themselves. To actualize themselves. To gain experience. And the more you give them that space, the more you create a learning and a growth environment for your people, the more your people will feel motivated because they will feel there's something in that for them also. Give your people autonomy. And that's a reflection of the trust that you have in them. If they are competent, give them autonomy so that they can do the tasks the way they want. As long as they are delivering as per the quality and the requirements that you expect from them, each person has, you know, they have their own style of doing things. So give them autonomy so that they can perform the task in the way that they feel comfortable with, in the way that's an expression of who they are as people. So all of these elements contribute to motivating people. One more important, very important point is emphasize a sense of purpose. 
when your people feel that you all all of you there are together to fulfill a purpose that talks to their heart that talks to their value that talks to their mind then they're definitely in so create a sense of purpose create a cause where all of you as a team feel that you know you are part of an adventure part of an enterprise that is valuable that is meaningful that's worth the sacrifice that's worth they give it their best make sure that when they are fulfilling this purpose part of their own individual purpose is also fulfilled and that's the brilliance of exercising leadership and even it's a brilliant management technique so when your people as they are on their journey of fulfilling the purpose of the team their own individual purpose is also being fulfilled in parallel so they will be working for themselves at the same time they're working also for the purpose that they are fulfilling of course issues like communication is important so that you know, they're always informed issues like transparency is important issues like leading by example is important you know if I want to conclude because I can go on and on in this you want to motivate your people treat them the way you would like your bosses to treat you because you're also part of a team if you're part of a team how would you like to be treated what would motivate you to stay and to shine in this team think of all of these and treat your people in the same way if I want to summarize it in one word and some people might find this maybe strange but it's really not is love your people love your people of course there are different kinds of love there's romantic love there's like family love there's friends love but bottom line is love that puts the interest of these people maybe not first but that also because the interest of the group is first the interest of the cost is the cause is first but puts the interest of these people in a high regard you love these people so you're doing what you whatever you're doing in a way that's also contributing to the well-being of these people you have their well-being in mind so if you put all of these in place you know clarity communication continuous feedback transparency sacrifice reward clear sense of purpose clear strategy you will feel that you will people your people will surprise you underline surprise because every human being brings a universe of resources exceptional and unique talents and gifts and when you create this beautiful environment they offer all of that they bring it to the table far beyond what you've asked them to do and that's the surprising element and that's why that's how winning is done that's how success is achieved it's very important for leaders and managers to keep this in mind because alone you cannot do it so take care of your people because your people will create the success that you're hoping for empathy and compassion are very important aspect of any relationship because you're dealing with human beings here and human beings are not just intellectual beings but they're also emotional beings and they're social beings and they're spiritual beings so empathy is is a fundamental part of the relationship compassion is fundamental part of the relationship because your people just like yourself will go through tough times will go through difficulties will go through challenges so being compassionate and empathetic means you put yourself in their shoes 
and you try your best to experience their challenge and their pain and their discomfort and whatever they're suffering from is the way they're doing it the way they're experiencing it of course practically speaking it's so hard to do that but at least you can try and they have to feel that you're trying and the more you try the better it is and the more you do that the stronger is the connection so of course empathy and compassion is an important part of exercising leadership because you can't lead without mobilization and you can't mobilize without connecting with people at a core level and that requires empathy and compassion especially that the journey of leadership is a turbulent journey it's not a cruise control smooth journey so you'll go through setback disappointments pain suffering you know anger sadness you will go through all these feelings through your journey of leadership because it's a journey of challenge it's an endurance game right it's an endurance race however you have to keep this in mind empathy and compassion should not become a ticket for mediocrity so you don't emphasize and be compassionate with somebody at the expense of the quality of the work at of the quality of the task at the quality of the result that you expect from them at the quality of the role that they're expected to play as part of the you know larger group so that you all of you together would succeed there is another reason you should not misuse or abuse compassion and empathy because it can easily be abused and that is you should help people to bring the best out of them and sometimes you cannot be compassionate you should not be compassionate when you feel somebody can do much better than they're doing and you feel that compassion hurts sometimes you have to be tough and demand that people get the best out of them demand that people polish themselves like a jewel is polished so that it can shine sometimes you have to show I don't know I want to say ruthlessness sometimes you have to be absolutely brutal in terms of being honest and being real in, in giving them clear and you know and and uh, and true feedback act like a mirror that would show them that what they're doing is not good enough because they can do much better when you do that they will not like it it will not be a happy experience and they will not like you and they might give you feedback or show or demonstrate behavior that would you know that would not make you popular that would show resentment from their side they would push back get off my back why are you being so rude to me why are you being so harsh but actually you're not being harsh actually what you're doing is that you are forcing them pushing them to bring the best out of them to extract the best out of them in the end if you persist they will thank you because who will benefit from them bringing the best out of them they will benefit on the short term the task or the whatever the mission will benefit of course but on the long term once you brought the best out of them that will stay with them you've just helped them elevate the standard and the quality of their performance that's why empathy and compassion are super important but you have to be careful that you're not using this you're not giving them a ticket of leniency you're not giving them a ticket for mediocrity you're not giving them a ticket of you know to go back to go into their comfort zone you're not giving them a ticket uh, uh, of you know uh, uh, making things far easier than they should be no life is not like that life especially when you're exercising leadership is an uphill struggle it's a challenge sometimes okay it's easy but most of the time it's hard and to overcome all of, all of that you have to summon the best that they can give you and that requires sometimes you're compassionate and empathetic but sometimes you have to say on your feet we do it again you can do better not acceptable I know you can do better it's not easy but that's the price of dealing with people and that's the price of motivating people bottom line respect them 
love them, but do whatever you require to do to bring the best out of them and make that jewel that's within them, that's within every single person, shine. That would be their gift to you, to the purpose that you're trying to achieve. More importantly, that would be your gift to them. Thank you for listening to the Michael Cooley podcast. Please visit cooleyinstitute.com and send us an email. We would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode. And remember to follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media.